must come to an end the way the Jews imagine, with the extermination of the Aryan people. Instead, it will see the complete annihilation of the Jews. I do not play at war. I shall not allow myself to be ordered about by generals. With iron will, I shall determine the moment to attack. That is my mission. Within weeks, the Jews of Vienna are feeling the real impact of Austria's savior. Twenty-four-year-old Jewish student, Edith Hahn. The Nazis are putting up signs on Jewish shops, warning people not to buy there. Anybody who resists is beaten up, killed or taken away to a concentration camp. Everyone around us has gone mad. They were born hating us, raised hating us, and now the veneer of civilization, which had protected us from their hatred, has been stripped away. For centuries, Galicia has been a center of Jewish culture. Nearly 800,000 Jews live more or less peacefully among the Ukrainians and Poles. According to official Nazi doctrine, they are lowlifes. Immediately after the invasion, the Germans impressed Jews into forced labor gangs to repair damage from the war. In Hitler's new eastern provinces, victory has brought a brutal new regime. The Poles have a thin Germanic layer. Below that is foul material, the Jews. The most disgusting thing imaginable. If Poland had lasted any longer, everything would be Lyserin. A clear, masterful hand is now needed here. Hitler requires all Jews to be marked with a special armband. They are rounded up and forced to live in ghettos. The largest ghetto is in Poland's old capital, Warsaw. Four hundred thousand Jews are confined within its walls. Seventeen-year-old Mary Berg. The ghetto is becoming more and more crowded. There is a constant stream of new refugees. People are ragged and barefoot, with the tragic eyes of those who are starving. Starvation alone is killing 40 to 50 people each day. I saw a little girl crying. She looked at me with her blue eyes and said, I'm hungry. Why does no one come to our aid? How long are we going to be kept here? Yosef. Goebbels. The Führer prophesied that if the Jews brought about another world war, 
they would experience annihilation. The world war is here. The extermination of the Jews is the necessary consequence. By the end of 1942, almost 300,000 men, women and children have been taken from the Warsaw Ghetto to the death camp at Treblinka. Hitler's final solution has begun. Early in April 1945, units of the 3rd U.S. Army liberate the concentration camp Ordruf in Thuringia. Some 10,000 inmates were confined in Camp S3. Only a few survived the harsh privations. The Americans are shocked by the indescribable conditions in the camp. It is the first concentration camp they see. Inhabitants of the surrounding villages are forced to tour the camp. April the 11th, 1945. The Allies arrive at Buchenwald. It is one of over a thousand of Hitler's concentration camps. Udo Dietmar is one of the few survivors. The conditions in Buchenwald had reached the height of horror. People were starving. A few of those who could still move broke down and died. There were mountains of corpses. The crematorium and the courtyard were overcrowded with skeletons. I can still hear my dead friends. If you should survive, don't forget to tell the world of our destiny. I will never forget. The Americans round up people from the nearby town and force them to witness the horrors that have been committed in their name. 18-year-old Renata Simon. I could hardly believe what I was seeing. They had piled up the corpses of people who had died. The smell was just too much. I couldn't take it anymore. But the GI shouted at me, You Hitler Fräulein! Here, look! Look! The Nazis have murdered six million Jews. <laughs> 